Topping your news leader at four today, explosive new allegations this afternoon about the murder of Adolph Thornton Jr., known as rapper Young Dolph. That trial got underway today in a Shelby County courtroom. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Alex Coleman. April is on assignment. Justin Johnson, also known as Straight Drop, is accused of shooting Young Dolph outside a Memphis cookie shop almost three years ago. But today, prosecutors told the jury it was actually a man known as Big Jook who ordered the hit. They claim Big Jook was high up a record label CMG arrival of Young Dolph. Big Jook, who was the older brother of well-known rapper Yo Gotti, was killed earlier this year outside a Hickory Hill nightclub. WREG Shea Arthur has been in the courtroom all day and is live with the latest details. Shea, what have you learned? I just stepped out of the courtroom just a short time ago. That testimony is still ongoing. It's really been going on really this entire day in this highly anticipated trial that really so many, just not across Memphis, but across the country have been following uh, Young Doff, loved by so many here in the Bluff City. Security here at the court, very, very tight. There's extra police officers uh, up inside there around the courtroom. You have to go through two metal detectors to actually get inside that courtroom. And the prosecution and the defense, uh, they've been telling some very different stories about who is to blame here in the rapper's death. Justin Johnson, one of the men accused of shooting young Dolph outside a Memphis cookie shop, sat stoic in court. Shelby County Prosecutor Paul Hagerman painted the picture of the day of the crime for the jury, who was brought in from out of Shelby County. Hagerman says Johnson, an aspiring rapper known as Straight Drop, shot Dolph along with a second man, Cornelius Smith. He says the shooting comes after a $100,000 hit was ordered by Big Jook, who was high up at CMG, a rival record label and the older brother of rapper Yo Gotti. The contract hit was arranged by a third man, Hernandez Govan. Investigators say Govan would seek out new talent for CMG and also provided drugs to Smith. The jury was shown the moments young Dolph was killed outside Makita's cookies. Hagerman said to Johnson and Smith, the shooting was, quote, just business. What we watch up here is so quick, and we watch it and we call it violence. That's a man with a family and with a wife who's laying at the edge there in the yellow, riddled with bullets, dead. We watch that and we call it violence. For Cornelius Smith and for Justin Johnson, it was just business. But Johnson's attorney says his client is innocent, saying there's two sides to every story, and Govan was using Johnson. You like to exploit. They like to exploit young rappers, like Mr. Johnson. He brings no skill to the table, but you're going to hear testimony about how he in intended. It was his sole mission to get a 30 to 60 percent piece of Mr. Johnson. Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy was also present, speaking to us about the trial finally happening nearly three years after the shooting. Great anticipation. I mean, this is the culmination of a lot of years' work, and there's been a lot of work done by our staff in the DA's office and also by law enforcement to, um, to bring the people uh, responsible for this uh, tragic killing to justice, and that's what we're going to do this week. Check. And Alex, really, uh, so far in the case today, beyond those explosive opening statements that we heard, those accusations there from the prosecutor, we also heard from the sister of Young Dolph, along with one of his former security guards, currently right now, uh, Cornelius Smith. He is the second man, uh, along with Justin Johnson, accused of shooting Young Dolph there in front of Makita's cookie store. He's uh, currently under cross-examination by the defense. We'll have hear from him tonight at 5 o'clock. I'm going to go back up there in the courtroom. We'll bring you the latest back then at 5 o'clock. For your news leader, we're live downtown tonight. Shay Arthur, WREG News Channel 3. All right, Shay, thank you very much for that.